grabs refrigerant. It grabs refrigerant. This is what it's doing. It's grabbing that refrigerant. So next, let's look and see what it's doing with that refrigerant. And then it starts squeezing it more and more and more and more all the way around. And then it discharges it at the very top. Notice we have that hole in the top. That's where the discharge side is. So this is stationary. And this one just simply moves around like this. So what's happening is inside, if we see the two pieces, it's doing this around and around and around. Open position where the refrigerant will start to come in. And then as this scroll moves around, one stays stationary and the other one just squeezes it in. So it just squeezes it in more and more and more until we finally get to high pressure. If Copeland actually makes a compliant scroll that allow for this to separate a little bit if it gets any liquid refrigerant in there. I decided to cut this open to show everybody a better view. And something interesting I found is when I was cutting it, this piece broke off. And I thought, well, that's quite interesting how this broke off. And it's really unusual. Now, it's not too big of a deal because you got to remember all of this is securely mounted here. So it's, it's mounted in two different points. But what I did find interesting was when I took this apart, if we look... Right here where the break is, you can see that there's a bit of rust and then there's a bit of shiny metal. So here's the shiny metal. And there's a lot of rust in the very center. What that tells me is where the rust is where this component's been sitting. So that means it was already cracked to begin with. There's already a severe crack in there that allowed that to rust. So I never thought about this before until I cut this particular one open. At some point in time, something must have happened to cause this to crack and then over the years of me traveling around with this the rust got inside of there so you could see the different coloration so i don't know if that's from a bad metal or more than likely my guess and this is a guess is that somehow we got some liquid refrigerant inside of this scroll and as the liquid got over here to this part where it's trying to compress it was too much on it and it allowed it to flex back as it flexed back it started to crack that, but it still left it secure to the bottom side. So you can see the bottom side over here is pure clean metal from that cut. So it was still firmly secured here. So one of the two things, you guys can let me know in the comments what you think it is. Is it going to be bad metal from manufacturing or is that from a crack from liquid refrigerant? I'm not, not sure on that, but I thought that was interesting. So typically this piece is going to move and this piece would sit still. Now I've cut this apart. So you got to think when you're looking at this piece, it would, this would really be the back side. It's all covered up. It's all center, all covered except for this very hole in the center, which is going to be right here. So let's take a look at how that scroll action is happening. So here you can see, I'm going to move it backwards, but this is our scroll action. And this piece here in the middle is moving around because I taped it because I didn't want to start the welder up. I'm lazy. So this is what's happening as it's moving around. So let's follow this path to see what's happening. So here, when it's opened up, this gap is opened up. It's pulling in refrigerant right here, low temperature, low pressure refrigerant, all in this chamber. So all of this long quantity is where it's coming in. Then as we scroll around and this starts to close up, over here our gap is now getting a slightly little bit smaller. It's sealed in. And as we continue to rotate around, that gap is even smaller. It's closer together, raising the pressure, reducing the volume. And as we continue to come around yet again, that, pre that volume is even smaller. And then finally we're going to get all the way to the very center and it's going to be coming out the very center here. But what's cool about that is we got to think it's not just, it takes three rotations to make that happen. We've also started another one over here in the center and another one's already halfway through. So we're just constantly pulling in refrigerant. And if we see, let's see if we're pulling refrigerant from this side as well. If we're pulling in refrigerant here all the way around, as well as we're pulling in refrigerant here on the outside all the way around. So it's extremely efficient as far as how this system's working. It's sucking in low pressure vapor, pumping out high pressure vapor, and that refrigerant on both sides, it's squeezing it tighter and tighter and tighter to the very center. It's a very small chamber of volume size, and that's what comes out the very hole right here in the very top. Now also looking at the top of some of this one, this particular one has a check valve here. 
to whereas this one did not. It just simply had a hole right there. You could see right through it. To whereas this other one has a check valve on it. We have our check valve built in here, so when it leaves the top. But this one has a check valve here as well. So it's interesting, if we think about this compressor being like this, there's a check valve preventing it from coming from the discharge of the muffler area back into the scroll set, and another check valve here. Now the thing that I do not know is this piece right here, this ring right here, I'm not sure what this ring does. I haven't been able to figure it out. So in this other one, what I did is I took it apart, and I took this top piece out. And in this top piece, there's a piece of rubber right here. This whole edge is rubber and or some type of a material. And as well as this little ring right here is rubber also. So there's two gaskets that seal this. And this piece just fits inside of here. So I'm not sure what it does. I did try grinding the rivets off. Here's what the rivets look like. I tried grinding the rivets off to separate these panels, but I couldn't get them apart. I do see that there's a factory little pressure port here. So something to do with the high pressure or low pressure, I'm not sure. Some, something to do with pressure in this. Maybe this is part of the unloading effect. Maybe it allows it to give to where it unloads instead of breaking. I'm not sure what this piece goes to. So if you guys know, leave me a comment because uh, I'd be curious to know what this particular set of that does. I'm just not familiar with that. That's how our scroll works. Pretty simple. It's just a scroll action.